Uh, PRP actually is a recent, um, uh, it's been there for a while, but getting more popular now. Uh, and uh, I use PRP uh, mainly for the tendon uh, tendinopathies, uh, and it's been shown to have a very good outcome, as well as in uh, plantar fasciopathy. Uh, it's been promising recently uh, and uh, can be used as well in um, early joint degeneration. Injection of PRP helps to improve the uh, uh, symptoms. It doesn't cure the uh, degeneration, but uh, improve the symptoms uh, from the degeneration. And it's been shown, it's been uh, getting very popular now uh, in these areas. It's, it is safe. First, it is it is a safe uh, uh, procedure. Um, uh, it is, uh, in, in, in for example, in tendinopathies, it can be an alternative to uh, uh, surgeries because uh, the outcome from the uh, PRP is quite uh, very good, especially in tendinopathies and plantar fasciopathies. However, in the joint degeneration can uh, help improve the symptoms by, by more time, uh, but does not, uh, it, in joint degeneration is not really a uh, full alternative, but it improves symptoms and by some time before any form of definitive treatment for the joint degeneration. Uh, basically, it is uh, it is a day case procedure, uh, and uh, there's a special um, uh, what called a special kit to get the uh, uh, what called the, to do centrifugation of the plasma and get the plasma rich platelets, which can then be injected into the area of the concern. Uh, concern. But it is very safe procedure, the day case procedure, uh, and um, does not require any major setup. I usually say that it, after approximately start seeing the results, uh, between two to four weeks, you can start seeing the results, but it can take longer than that. Now, as I mentioned, it's a very safe procedure. It's like in, it's an injection, basically. So it's not, it's, it's there's no risks associated. Uh, the only it may be a theoretical risk of infection rather than any uh, a major risk of any, any major side effects.